What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Artie and in today's video we're going to be talking about the 2021 Kia Forte that I recently leased as a, actually a really really good deal. If you missed that video when I did a full on walk around and review and talked about my payments for this car, check that out or if you missed the oil change video that I did a few weeks after that, check that video out. I will link the videos in the description below. So now let's kind of talk a little bit about my ownership experience having this car for two months, a little bit over two months, actually already approaching my third month here very, very soon. So I have a little issue or I'm going to kind of touch upon. I talk about all my car issues, my maintenance, my problems, my DIYs in all my videos and in the Kia video. I talked about how great of a car this really, really was, but I think I kind of spoke ahead of myself or kind of jinxed myself. So my brother-in-law has the same exact car. Now, at about 3, 3,000, 3,100 miles, I started noticing a weird, weird noise. So when I had a weird noise with my suspension on my BMW M3, I kind of figured out it was a suspension. So you kind of you listen to a noise and like what kind of sounds and when it does it and you try to figure it out or take it to a shop. But because of the whole COVID situation, I don't want to take this to Kia. Obviously, it's a brand new car. It's on their warranty. I don't want to just right away jump and to take it to service because I have car seats. I daily drive this car and I don't want to take out the car seats and then have somebody in the car and you know not knowing if they have any type of symptoms and touching all of this and then you know getting into a rental and again putting the car seats I don't know who's been in that car kind of really really scared right now living in California it's probably the worst state with like the highest numbers of COVID cases so I'm kind of trying to kind of prolong and like push this off but at about 5,000 miles I already noticed that it's getting louder and louder not significantly louder but okay so here here's what I hear it's not necessarily when I go over uneven pavement or when I go over a bump. I hear some sort of rattly noise. Now, it isn't really, really loud, but to a person like myself, it really, really gets under my skin. So I don't think it's unsafe to drive the car at the moment because if I thought it was unsafe, I definitely would have taken it to Kia and had them check it out. But it's just something that's getting really louder and louder at lower speeds. Like So if I'm driving around... 20 25 miles an hour i could hear it if i'm on the freeway i don't hear it as much just because of the road noise and how much road noise you actually get in this car and just because at that at that speed you don't hear but it's like a rattly noise it just feels like something's loose so i started kind of like you know like thinking oh man what is this maybe i have something in my trunk maybe i didn't do this right i started searching the whole car and just nothing extra laying around that could be causing that noise so it's not like i have uneven alignment or the car is like pulling to the left or put, pulling to the right or i hit a speed bump or i have a curved wheel where i could have damaged some type of suspension component it's just a weird weird noise uh like i said rattling noise 25 30 miles an hour on and off you can hear it and my brother-in-law has the same exact car no issues no sounds that when i was over there uh, late December I took his car for like a 20-25 mile drive back and forth to pick up some food and no sounds at all. So overall I'm telling you guys the Kia is a great car. I'm not complaining about this yet. I'm just speaking upon the issue that I'm facing with this car because I like to document all of my issues for you guys. So if you have similar issues, had similar issues or wanting to purchase a car like this you might look out for so i will i will definitely document in a future video when i do take this car to the service and have them find what's going on or repair it. i'll show the repair bill i always do in all of my videos and that's that guys but overall besides that i'm loving this car it's a great car great on mpg a little bit tight and a little bit underpowered but that's why i didn't really want to do a video like talking about what I hate about the vehicle because there isn't anything that I kind of hate about the vehicle at the moment maybe through time uh, I will find things that I kind of might not like yeah it's underpowered but you know 147 horsepower what do you want you guys but it's great on MPG I'm loving it it's a great deal and that's that hopefully I will do a follow-up video on this a part two of what's going on I'm just waiting for COVID to die down a little bit or be a little bit more under control in California, Southern California, it's crazy numbers right now. 
but hopefully once that settles down a little bit hopefully 2021 is going to be a good year guys i will take this in for service figure out what's going on follow up with you guys with the repair bill and what they say is wrong with the kia forte that's that guys if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and i'll catch you guys on the next video peace